The Walking Dead, issue 122. Dwight, lock this room up, check on all the others, make sure they're not doing anything stupid. I'll see you boys in the AM. I'll, uh, good night. Bring your bidding in, bring it on. As long as my mouth is free, you know I'm still dangerous. You finish pretending you're not scared at all? Not pretending. Sure, whatever. I take a break, didn't fool you in. But I want Negan dead more than any of you. I'm doing everything I can on the inside to help out. So don't try anything stupid and get yourself killed. I think I can get you and the others out of here. Like I did with Holly. I tried. There wasn't an opportunity. Like there isn't an opportunity to sneak in while Megan is asleep and put a knife in his eye. If you really turned, this would be over. At best, you're playing both sides, waiting to pick a winner. I get through, I'm gonna take you out from behind. You'll never see it coming. You'll go out like Ibrahim did. Only I'm thinking, there won't be as many people out there who give a damn. I'm not trying to say I'm a good man, or that I regret anything I've done, or that I've changed. I'm saying, you want right now. I just want to give you some reassurance so you don't miss yourself too much. First thing, I get a chance to put a knife in Nigga's eye. I'll do it today. If I didn't think these people would take my head for it, I'd... have been. I'm with you, and I'm pretty sure there are others that would be too. Well, I predict we ran out of food in six days, tops. It's a lot of people, huh? Indeed it is. A whole lot of people. A whole lot of mouths. Much more than we've got food for. My son's going to have to compete for the food now. Gonna have to eat it up before someone else gets to it. What's going on out there? What happened to them? What did you expect me to do, Brianna? Whatever you're thinking is best for us. You're in charge now, remember? Don't say that. People will start realizing that, then everything will be on me. I'm not in charge. You decked Gregory, knocked him right on his ass, and started bossing people around. You let us out of here, and you let us back. You're in charge and everyone knows it. No one else wants the job. They'll let anyone but Gregory do it, so congratulations. I'll let you slide on the food situation. Because I trust you know what you're doing, but don't forget what you said. Believe in Rick Grimes. Well, hopefully by the end of all of this, we all will. Then I'll believe in Maggie Green too. Comfortable? I will be when the sun's up and no one has attacked us yet. Coral sleep? I don't think anyone's sleeping tonight. Not for any length of time, at least. Too much going on. Well, what about you? 
me. I've got a lot of planning, a lot of strategy that I have to do tomorrow. I need to get plenty of sleep. Luckily, I'll be out like a light in no time, because I'm going to curl up next to you, right here, where I know I'll be safe. What about Carl? He's going to fall asleep reading book. He won't be looking for me. Okay, honey. If I see anything, I promise I'll wake you up before the bullets start flying. I'm better now. I've been in my own head, full of myself, full of shit, for a little bit, but it was only because of my grief. Still, I want you to know that's over. I can't fight. I have to fight, my people depend on me, and I don't want anyone else to suffer the kind of loss I have. That's worth fighting for, fighting through this for, I'm better than this, what you've seen these last few days, that's not me, not real. I don't even know how you put up with me, you're strong. Stronger than I could ever be. I don't want you to lose respect for me because I was weak. This was just a practice run. I'll do better tomorrow when you're awake. It's amazing work, really. Not flawless, mind you, but given the tools available and the rate at which you were losing blood, you were very lucky to be alive. Is it true she'd been bitten in shortly before performing this surgery? Yeah. That's simply amazing. It makes this all the more impressive. I'd like to think my dedication to the well-being of others would allow me to perform in an equally heroic manner. But I'd be mostly full of shit if I were to say that. Never know until you know. Am I right? Right. I'll get a clean badge on here. I'll send you on your way. Sorry it took so long to get to you. I tried to move as fast as I could. It's okay. Tell me, Heath, did you know this woman well, Dr. Chloe? Yeah, we are together. Oh, I had no idea. I'm very sorry. Worry about the gene? Isn't everyone? Yeah, but I know you're a little sweet on that guy. You don't have to hide it from me. This ain't high school. You're not less cool for liking the fat guy. Hell, I do alright. Yeah, good. Congratulations. Listen, Olivia. Can we catch up tomorrow? It's late and I just... I want to be alone with my thoughts, okay? What? Sure, yeah, okay. I hear you loud and clear. Sorry to interrupt. You look sad is all. Thought I could cheer you up. Good night. Good morning, Sabres. Thanks for gathering for me so early today. Who what we have here? I know it seems crazy to have these undeads inside the walls. But these beauties are the loosements of our wall planning going forward. Or not, these things are going to help us win this war. You all know how this works. You get a bite, you get any kind of wound from these things. Something from them get in you, and you die. We're all infected. We all have this to look forward when we die. We know this, for some goddamn reason. One of these things by us, no matter how minor an injury it would otherwise be, the fever sets in. This fever burns us out, make us one of them, faster than we planned to be, which suck. That's the dangerous world we're living in, but we're going to use it to our advantage. You see this? Look at it. 
Watch how I'm just getting in there, rubbing all up in its grill. Still getting to know this sorry sack of dead flesh. Sorry, Lucille. Yeah. Get nasty, girl. Look at this. The new and improved better than before. All awesome and absolutely deadly, Lucille. I don't have to crush your head or pound your face with the back of your skull with her anymore. Slightest touch from Lucille, just a kiss, and she left her mark. We're going to have space age zombie bacteria weapons at our disposal. And we're going to kill every last one of these ungrateful people. Blow them up. And let's hit the road! Morning. Well, that might be the best night of sleep I've gotten in as long as I can remember. Damn! You sleep at home? A couple of weeks here and there after my shift was over. I didn't want to wake you up to move inside. You were out cold. It was pretty cute. I'm sure it was. I need you bright eyed and bushy tailed in the case of a prolonged attack. Come inside and get some shut eye, soldier. Carl on your way, okay? Of course. So you're out here working all morning. Ready for some lunch? It lunchtime already? Guess I got lost in it. Gotta keep up with the man. Everyone needs something. Certain I was introduced to you last time I was here. And I've already forgotten. It was certain. Now days go by without someone saying something rather kind about you, Mr. Grimes. Just call me Rick. This all blows over after the war ends. Think you could whip me up something for this? Let me get your measurements. I can make something for you absolutely. I mean, you bring a man lunch. How could I not? Open the gate. They've made it. They're here. It feels good to have all my people back in one place. You were right to want to coordinate our forces. That was a good call, Rick. Now, it makes sense. Our forces are strongest when we are united. While having one central place to defend seems easiest, it's also not wise to have all our eggs in one basket. The office that we can take today to recess our capabilities. Organizing our forces, doing accounting for our weapons, and prepare for what's coming. When Nagin forces attack, and I know that they will, we need to be able to outmaneuver them. What do you have planned? I'm prepared to do whatever you require of me. This is what's telling me about a place about a half mile from here. Right down the road. A small town, a few shops, a bunch of houses. We cleaned it out for supplies. Not the worst staging ground. Right. I think it'd be a good place to move our most vulnerable people. Keep all of us there. Keep them mobile if need be. Beyond that, it serves two purposes. It'd be a staging ground. We keep a third of our forces there to help slow Klingon during his attack. It would also be a rendezvous point if the hilltop falls. All goes according to plan. There won't be any need for a grand sacrifice. That's what you were getting at. I just want to be prepared for the worst. All we need is time. It's going to take at least another day to set this all in motion. Let's hope Negan and his men take longer than that to come after us. We attack at sundown.